Many of you have more letters behind your name than are in my name. So when Tony Dell asked me to speak here on post-traumatic stress to you, intimidating. But then I thought, no, it's not. I'm not here to tell you about the latest medical research into treating post-traumatic stress. I'm here to give you an inside perspective of post-traumatic stress. How? By telling you a true story. I'm going to share with you my journey, a key turning point, and one lesson. Let's wind the clock back 15 years. I'm a constable in the Queensland Police. I'm on night work, a job comes over the radio, I take out my notebook. I record this job. Many of you are doctors in the room. I have seen your writing. I expect you to be able to read that. <laughs> it's to attend Hanbury Street, Chermside West in North Brisbane. In relation to threats to kill. A couple of men had a fallout over a $20 football bet. We took up with two males. We received, started our investigation and then we moved back to the sergeant's patrol vehicle to do background checks. Sergeant Chris Mulhall sat in the driver's seat. My partner, Sharnel Cole, sat in the front passenger seat. I sat in the back seat. I'm listening to the information coming in. Then I hear this, pat, 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 to the left of me. The car door's open. We're only going to be here a few moments. I turn. It's a man. Pointed at my face, a .22 calibre rifle. Bang, I've been shot in the face. Bang, I've been shot in the shoulder. Don't even feel it. There's blood, there's teeth, there's bones. I try to open the door, the child locks are on. I sit up, the sergeant's seat, it's empty. Charnel splattered with blood. It's deathly quiet. I yell to Charnel, get help. I take my firearm out. I go out through the door that I got shot through. I go into fight mode. I scream out for the offender. I try to find him, can't find him. Chris, where's Chris? I walk down the street trying to find Chris. There's movement. I level my firearm. Don't shoot, don't shoot. There's a lady in a, in a nightgown. I said, get back in the house. I see movement on the other side. I turn around over here. She said, that's my husband. Back in the house, back in the house. I come back over to the patrol vehicle. And Chanel's there. She says, Greeny, I'm hurt. Greeny, I'm hurt. You know what I was thinking? I'm happy. I know she's alive. I stood guard over my partner and eventually backup arrived. We have an audio of this shooting. The resilience workshops I run, I play more of the audio. Today, I'm going to give you the core of the audio. 